In the meantime, now we turn overseas. A woman living here in East Tennessee who has family in Ukraine is sharing what they are experiencing through their journey to safety. WATE 6 on your side reporter Veronica Obe sat down with her as she explains why the last month has been so tough. Over 5,600 miles away from home, family is definitely at the forefront of Yulia's mind. She didn't get to speak with them for weeks, but she shares with me what it's like to finally hear their voices and what they say life in Maripol has been like during the war. After spending nine years in the U.S. and establishing a life in East Tennessee, Yulia says as a Ukrainian woman, the last month has been tough after she lost contact with her family. Whenever last time I talked to my brother, he said that we have to go to a bombshell and after that we lost communication. Her family is trying to leave Maripol, one of the cities that's been hit by Russian forces. Just yesterday, Yulia got a hold of her family, which consists of her parents, two siblings and her nieces. She had not spoken to them since early March. It was like a second birthday. It was uh, really exciting at the same time uh, it was really stressful and it, you cannot describe emotion you've been feeling at that moment these are photos her brother sent her showing the home she once knew destroyed making it hard for her to believe that her family is still there I said it was basically like living in a hell but it had to be in a cold basement shelter bombs where you didn't have uh, no electricity, no water, uh, not a lot of food to survive. So it was really horrible and hard time. And although she lost contact with her family for a while. It was really scary time because you never knew if you're going to be able to talk to your family or you will be able to see them again. She still hasn't lost hope in the place she calls home. I uh, keep believing that one day everything going to be over and Ukraine will win a war. And Yulia has organized a GoFundMe to help her family with any immediate needs. If you would like to learn more about how to donate, you can visit our website at WATE.com. Veronica, thank you. Yulia also got to speak with her family again today. She tells us they are still safe.